So how do we draw kinematic graphs? For instance, let's say I give you a velocity versus time graph. This graph tells you how your velocity starts at zero and increases for two seconds and then continues on at that same high rate afterwards. How are we going to draw the displacement graph and the acceleration graph from this graph? It's a lot more difficult than it seems to imagine this motion. What this shows is the person starts, their velocity is very slow, and then their velocity increases, and then their velocity continues at a high rate. So they speed up, speed up, speed up, and then continue at the same speed. So how would, this, um, how would we make an acceleration graph from this? The acceleration is the rate of change of velocity, or the slope of this line. Here we're accelerating, here we're not. The acceleration is positive in that the velocity is getting bigger in the positive direction. So we'd have an acceleration graph that looks something like this. We have a constant acceleration. Why constant? Uh, because this line is relatively straight, is it not? So the velocity is increasing at a constant rate, and then the velocity settles at a constant velocity, or a rate of change of zero. So there's no acceleration. Now from this from this velocity graph, how do we graph the displacement over time? Well, first of all, the displacement can start wherever I say it will. So let's start the displacement down here. And we realize in the very beginning we're not moving, so this is going to be flat because there's no change in displacement over time. We're not moving. But as time increases, my velocity increases, so this is going to curve upward until I get to a point where I'm moving at very high velocity, but a constant velocity. And we'll see us with a constant slope indicating that constant velocity, remembering that the slope of the displacement graph is the velocity. OK, now let me leave you with a question. What would happen if at six seconds, right here, I slammed on the brakes and came to a rest in one second. That is, between six seconds and seven seconds, I stopped. Please draw those graphs or be ready to do them tomorrow.